The first thing you do is sort your papers or your PDFs by the type of payment. Documentation is vital. We really need the documentation to know if something is a real business expense. For all we know, the owner is putting all of his Costco purchases to the business and he's actually buying food and dog food and stuff. Not stuff for work, right? Um, and so we need the documentation because we want to make sure the documentation's on file so there's, there's an audit we got everything covered. If there's an audit, they want every single receipt, every single receipt. Doesn't matter if it's 70 cents, they want every receipt. And a credit card statement is not adequate proof of a business expense. So you can't expect just to keep the credit card statements and shred the receipts and think everything's gonna be fine. We need all of them. Don't blindly enter data, please. From just a couple days, let me give you a stack of stuff here. First we have this company right here. So it's called WTMRLEC. These folks, when they see that you have applied for a copyright or a trademark with the feds, they're watching those websites and they see it. And when they, when they do see it, they send you a bill. This is a bill for $980. If my bookkeeper had been opening the mail and just blindly paying things and not asking, he or she would have paid this bill and I paid lawyers to do this. The lawyers took care of this, right? I don't need some third party company doing it. But when everybody in the company is not on the same page, and if you don't even know that they're doing copyright work or trademark work, and then no one tells you, and then all of a sudden you get this bill in the mail, and you're just like, sure, I'll pay it, right? This kind of thing is the problem when the business owners, remember what Leslie Shiner said? She said, Delegate, don't abdicate. And too often what happens is business owners are abdicating. They're saying, yeah, you take care of all the mail, you enter everything, you pay the bills as long as there's money. I don't want anything to do with it. That I don't want to have anything to do with it turns into this. So scam. Here's another scam. See this? Remember this name. Domain registry. These people, total scam. What they do, I already pay for my domains through GoDaddy, right? Everybody pays their, for domains with somebody. These folks find out you registered a domain name. They send this to you, hoping that you're going to open it up and pay for it. And these guys, domain registry, these guys are especially tenacious. I had a client who blindly paid bills. She was the business owner too, blindly paid bills, didn't even look at them, didn't know why she had them, didn't question it. And she ended up giving these guys her bank account information and it was impossible for me to get them to stop taking money out of her account. She had to shut the account down. You do not want to be responsible for that. Here's something from Oregon Department of Rev or Oregon Secretary of State. Gee, I wonder if it's important. I wonder if it's um, a notice that we're in big trouble or if it's just a regular bill. I don't know. You don't know either unless you get the mail and open it. Edward Jones. This is my retirement company. These are confirmations that the retirement information was processed. You need to know these things. You need to know that the right money was sent to retirement. Now that everybody's submitting retirement online electronically themselves, another one of those self-serve, I'll just do the work for your employees gig, right? Where we're having to do our own data entry. More often than not, I see people that are submitting their um, retirement electronically, they get it wrong. They get it wrong. They do the tick, click, click. They get the numbers wrong, right? I send a statement out of QuickBooks to my retirement company with a paper check. I do not do anything online and they're fine with that and I'm fine with that because I know that it's going to be the right amount of money because I'm pulling a QuickBooks report. I'm not hand entering it into a website.